Edward Weevil, the self-proclaimed son of Whitebeard and a man said to have the same strength as a young Whitebeard himself. This man is a complete mystery. He has not done anything impactful towards the Straw Hats thus far. So today, we're going to take a guess as to what his role might look like in the future of the story. So before we hop into today's Reddit threads, I'm going to take a stab in the dark myself. So I have two guesses right here. First up, I'm going to guess that he is going to be the 10th Titanic commander of the Blackbeard Pirates. And I know what you're saying. Why would he do that? Didn't he hate Blackbeard? And didn't he want to get revenge for killing Whitebeard? Yes, that is true, but Miss Bakken, the master manipulator of him, has a very different mindset. She does not care about revenge. All she cares about is money. So if she were to tell him to join Blackbeard, I would see Weevil actually doing it. And there's also another theory going out there that Blackbeard is recruiting people that seems very similar to the Pirates of Rocks Zebex crew. You have knockoff Kaido, knockoff Big Mom, why wouldn't he have a knockoff Whitebeard as well? All right, so now my second guess as to what Weevil might do. I feel like he has the potential to end up in Buggy's crew. You have a bunch of buffoons just wandering around, aimlessly following Buggy, thinking he is a god of a pirate. So who better to have in that crew than Weevil himself, a man that cannot take any orders other than from his mom? So if maybe Bakken was removed from the situation, I can see Buggy taking over that parental kind of role for him. Or he might actually take over Whitebeard's dream and want a giant family. And what better family to have than the Straw Hat family and joining the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. But this is all theory crafting. Let's get right into today's Reddit threads. This says, what will Edward Weevil do in the future? Made by a guy whose name I just definitely cannot pronounce, I can't think of how Weevil will contribute to the story. I'm not sure if he should even be added to the story. Wow, he's coming out swinging with this one. I just can't think of his relevance in the future happenings. What do you guys think? And then the top comment says, he won't be a future main antagonist, which is what I agree with as well. Mainly because Weevil is strong, right? He's Lore-wise, he's considered pretty strong. But he's still just one guy. And let's be real here. You put Weevil and Luffy into the same ring, Luffy will body this man. We don't even know his feats, and we know that Luffy will body this man. And Weevil, from what we know, he doesn't have a crew. So if he were to fight Luffy or run up to the Straw Hats, you have one person taking him on, and then you have everybody else chilling on the sidelines. You have Zoro, Sanji just straight up posted up, ready to beat Weevil's butt. And that's the main thing, right? That is why a lot of people are saying that if he were to join a crew, it would most likely be Blackbeard's crew because he doesn't seem really strong to fight Luffy. So boom, he's already lower tier. And then boom, he has a lot of other people for Luffy to fight as well. All right, so continuing his comment, he says, there are some possible routes from what we know. He could become an ally against the Blackbeard pirates as he's expressed desire to avenge Whitebeard. He could now that he lost the status of Warlord even end up joining Blackbeard. He seems easy to manipulate. Imagine that being the main descriptor of you. Oh, here's Sai. Uh, by the way, he's easy to manipulate. Man, I feel bad for Weevil, dude. He could even then be another Titanic captain of the crew, along with potentially Moria, which I disagree with. I do not think Moria would join the crew at all. Literally, Blackbeard and his crew killed Absalom and took his devil fruit. They killed his best friend. Moria was pissed. There is no way he'd be like, you know what? We're not coming now. Let's, let's join hands, buddies. That's not possible. Moria will not join the crew. I'm going to say that Moria is either dead or he's being held captive, kind of like how Eustace Kid was in Wano. Or he will join up with another group and play the role of an antagonist there. He could also ally with the Straw Hats against the Navy and World Government. So there's a lot of possibilities. I do rule him out of being a major antagonist because we have passed the Warlord tier of enemies. So I like how he covers like every base here. He's like, well, he could be an ally. He could be a bad guy. He could be a force against the world government. He could be a guy that joins Luffy at some point against Blackbeard. He kind of does everything, which I kind of think is funny. But also I do agree with there's a lot of possibilities with Weevil's character. This is one of the few characters in One Piece where you could actually see them going any direction and we'd kind of be okay with it. I don't think he's going to join another group of antagonists other than Blackbeard or maybe even Buggy. And the main reason why is because there's not a lot of pirate groups left for us to fight. We're about to take down Kaido. We already took down Big Mom. So who left is there to really fight in the new world that we haven't heard of? I cannot, for the life of me, I cannot see him joining Shanks' crew 
He's definitely not going to be accompanied by Mihawk. Like, where is this man going to go? He has to fit into the story somewhere, and we just don't know where yet. But who knows? Knowing Oda, he might as well throw us a curveball and say, hey, by the way, Weevil is Imusama. You know, like, Weevil is actually the main threat in the world. And it's funny because I pulled this up here on the side. This is actually from Sandman AP, which he does a lot of One Piece translations. And Oda actually went on and he said that Weevil is really cool for him in that sense, which we don't really know what the sense is yet. But we do know that Weevil will play a very big role in the future, which is kind of insane to think about, right? Like Oda likes this character a lot and he sees potential in this man, in, in this guy right here, the guy that you're seeing in the middle of your screen, Oda sees a lot of potential. So moving on, we have another theory here or another Reddit thread made by a guy named The Boy 1011. We can actually pronounce that one. And he says, do you think Weevil will be a huge threat to the Straw Hat crew? Weevil has been one of the most anticipated warlords I've been wanting to see after the Wano arc. Not only does he claim to be Whitebeard's son, but he single handedly defeated 16 pirate crews affiliated with Whitebeard. Even Kizaru has compared his strength to that of a younger Whitebeard. Now, ever since I heard the details about him, I've been patiently waiting for him to pull up to the scene and show us what he's made of. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think he'll be a big threat to the Straw Hats? Why or why not, if you do not mind explaining? And then the top comment says, To this day, I don't see the point of this character, and I don't feel any level of threat from him. Even with what all the other characters have said about him. I don't know if it's personal or not, but I'm not interested in him at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes a joke character, even with his immense theoretical strength. However, I don't really have any doubt that Oda will use him correctly and characterize him more in the future. If he does want to make a legitimate threat out of him, he will do so perfectly. And I agree with that. And I bet Oda is very happy about that. Because imagine having a character that can literally go in any direction and a character that nobody takes seriously. Weevil is the perfect mold for Oda to create anything out of. He's like the ditto of One Piece. The comment below says, Weevil seems like a fairly explicit reference to Fat Majin Buu to me. He even shares voice actors with Buu. Ooh, that's, oh, that's a good one. Wait a minute. What if he has transformations? Bakken is like his bobbity. Ooh, you, you don't say. It, okay, let, let, let's, let's carry this on a little bit. If Weevil is Fat Majin Buu, and he's just like a mindless idiot. Once you remove Bakken or his Bobbity, Weevil might be a really strong ally. But with that being said, when he when he mentions Majin Buu, it almost makes me wonder if there's like a second transformation to Weevil, which I'm going to pull up the picture right here again. Do you see how like Weevil has like those stitches around his neck? What if hidden within Weevil behind the stitches is a stronger, slimmer, body built man underneath that that'd be kind of insane that'd be kind of nuts huh that's a that's a theory for you i think at some point he'll show that he's actually a good guy once he stops letting his mother control him but i doubt he's a huge threat to a post wano luffy that's what i'm saying like the man can't be a main antagonist because i just no matter what i cannot stretch my mind in thinking to comprehend the fact that weevil might be a threat to luffy like a Luffy that is taking on Kaido right now, or even his crew, right? Like imagine Weevil pulling up to Zoro and be like, I'm here to take you down, Pirate Hunter. That's not going to happen. And Zoro would body the man too. Anybody on the crew would body the man, except for maybe the lower tier. But still, upper tier, mid tier, they would take Weevil down in my opinion. This guy says, I don't think he'll have any relevance to the Striat crew unless he joins Blackbeard. He wanted to kill Blackbeard before his mother sicked him onto Marco but he's very easily manipulated. Wow, man. Weevil is getting slandered in this, which, I mean, obviously, he's Weevil, but dang, everybody's like, he's easily manipulated. At least, at least say something nicer to him. He has feelings, too. He's after Whitebeard's treasure. I assume the treasure is on the island Marco was guarding, so maybe the two will clash. Well, this did not age well. Uh, Marco is not on the island anymore, and also, there is no Whitebeard treasure. It is not gold. It is actually the village itself, the villagers, the hometown he grew up in. That is Whitebeard's true treasure. And he continues on by saying, though, I don't see him being much of a threat to Marco either. Wait, wait okay, real quick. I, I don't know why. I have a bone to pick. Whitebeard, a Yonko of the sea, a man that sends all of his money to this small village. How is this village so small? How do they only have these dinky houses? Like, if a Yonko was providing me with all of their funding, or a majority of their funding, I would like to think that they're living in gold castles. When we panned over it and Marco was like, yep, 
Pops was giving all his money to this village. I was like, bro, like, are you sure? Are you sure he doesn't have like a mistress or something? Miss Bakken on the side getting half the cut? I don't know, man. That was kind of sus to me. He didn't seem malicious, just stupid and easily manipulated. Maybe he ends up being the one guarding Whitebeard's island. I could see this, but like I said, Miss Bakken is the only one stopping this scenario from coming true. But also, personally, I would really love if Weevil had his own personality. Like past Miss Bakken and past Whitebeard. At some point, Weevil wants to become his own character. I think that would fall more in line with One Piece themes. And I would love to see what Weevil is actually like, you know what I mean? Uh, next comment says, I don't think he will be a huge threat though. I mean, he will play a role, I'm sure of it, but I don't think he will be a major threat. Mostly because his mother's motive is to get Whitebeard's treasure, and Weevil's is to get revenge from Blackbeard for killing Whitebeard. Basically, there's actually no need for him to become a threat in the story. Maybe a threat to the remnants of the Whitebeard Pirates in a storyline where we get to see Jozu and or Vista, but I don't think it will be the Straw Hats. I like this a lot, because Weevil's trajectory is nowhere close to the straw hats right like they're going almost opposite directions they might converge at some very small parts where you know luffy has a lot of friends from the whitebeard pirates but at no point do they actually intertwine their storylines can be completely different and you know honestly if you told us that we would never meet weevil in the straw hat playthrough i would believe you i'd be like well that makes sense like weevil isn't really going after mugiwara no luffy he's going after the whitebeard pirates and this you know treasure that doesn't exist Last one. Weevil is like Kong. They could both be super, super strong, but somehow Oda forgot about them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Kong hasn't really been forgotten. Uh, he's kind of like a retired old man right now. And Weevil isn't forgotten either, right? Like, Weevil is showing up whenever he can. He showed up after they abolished the Shishibukai system, and he showed up in a lot of flashbacks and as silhouettes in some people's monologues about the Warlords. Like, Weevil is not forgotten. Like, Oda has made it explicitly clear that Weevil will play a decent role in the story. Uh, one more, because that was pretty short. I think he'll be like a brown beard and pink beard. No, not the disrespect. I think his purpose will be to remove other characters from the story or to deal with them rather than being the central focus himself. Does Marco have to go back to Whitebeard's island to keep it safe, thus removing him from the story? Maybe. Does someone like Kobe need the bump from beating a high-end threat so he ends up becoming a hero for beating him? Uh, I feel like Kobe will naturally get there without having to take down Weevil per se. Because Kobe already has been evolving a lot throughout the story. He has like hockey traits, yeah, she gone. Like Kobe's actually pumping out some pretty cool feats. We haven't seen him taking down any like named characters yet, but I feel like Kobe totally could. I would love to see like an OVA or even a movie just based around Kobe and his adventures within the Marines. And finally, he says, I think he was built up to be torn down. Ah, dude. Don't don't talk about Weevil like that, man. Look, look at the way he looks. He's already been torn down. He has scars. He has stitches. The man ain't doing too good. He's already been torn down. Don't don't tear him down even more. Last one, because these are all pretty short. I have a theory that the next island after Wano will be Sphinx Island. It's the place where, or at least it was around, where Ace was buried. It could serve as a good breather arc between Wano and Elbath, and Weevil could work as a nice villain for Luffy. He could work as a way of saying that Luffy is as strong as young Whitebeard. Hell, Kizaru might have been over-exaggerating when he said Weevil was as strong as Whitebeard, since he might not have had Conqueror's Hockey. Well, it depends how young we're talking about Whitebeard, right? Because in the flashback where he fights Roger, he definitely had Conqueror's Hockey. So that's the kind of Whitebeard that I'm imagining. Maybe I'm imagining like prime Whitebeard and a younger Whitebeard doesn't have that yet. But I'm imagining for freaking Weevil to have some pretty good abilities. And I do like the idea of it being a breather arc. Like we had this crazy Wano arc that's been going on for like 100 plus chapters. Maybe we do need an arc where we kind of slow down and the main villain isn't some world threatening end all be all villain. It would be nice to have a villain like we will maybe pop in and be the foxy of the new world. You know what I mean? But yeah, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about Weevil. I think he's a really cool character. I think he has a lot of potential within him. He could either be a really good comedic relief with Buggy. He could even be a pretty cool bad guy within the Blackbeard Pirates. But at the end of the day, I don't think he has a bad heart. It's just Ms. Bakken that is manipulating him. And I think the Majin Buu reference that somebody made in this video was very accurate. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. Please consider liking and subscribing and commenting. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys on the next discussion video. Peace out.